like that. Look up. Your life. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name's Kevin, and my friends call me the tortoise guy. And uh, we are here in tortoise land in Los Angeles, California. And uh, somebody wants to say hi right away. Who is this? This is one beautiful little African sulcata. Hi, not so little. Okay. Shy girl. Not shy girl. No, it's not shy girl. Okay, everybody. Uh, okay, let's see. We got a thumbs up already. Hi. Don't know who's there. We got Rocky. We got Sweet Piper. We got a beautiful, beautiful girl. The ambassador of uh, Tortoise Land. Okay. Uh, she's a five and a half year old African sulcata. Look at the size of her. Right. Okay. And we got Big Booty. Let's see. Right here, we got Big Booty. Hold on, everybody. Okay. Hey, can you all hear me okay? Let's see. Okay. Um, I want to show you something cool. Okay. It's really cold. Woke up this morning at Tortoise Land here as really chilly. Okay. Um, and you might notice. So I have the camera on mirror because I have to since I don't have a camera person today. Hopefully soon, Moon, Moon Boots Monica will be back, right? And what I want to show you is, look at this. We have brand new hats, everybody. Okay, brand new hats, tortoise land hats with a logo, with a cool, cool tortoise. You can get the hat with the logo, or you can get the hat uh, without the tortoise. Okay, and uh, and let's see. Oh, tortoise land shirts, right? And nobody's more excited than who? Digger. Okay, Digger's super excited. Why? Because if you get a hat, because Christmas is coming, and maybe you want to buy one for yourself or your family, uh, help us, help the tortoises, where do you go? And here's the exciting thing. We now have our website up and running, okay? I'm going to show you some eggs right now. Eggs, okay? So how do you, how do you find out about the hats? Where do you go? We are, have our website, tortoiseland.org. Okay, look at you. Hi, honey. I know. Where are you? Let's see right here. Hi, honey. That's right. Hi. Okay. So this is exciting stuff. A lot of exciting things today. We're going to talk about pancake. We're going to talk about sharky. A lot of African cicadas. We're going to talk about sharky. We're going to talk about crush. Okay. We have to rehome. Looking to rehome some tortoises. Uh, oh, speaking of which, look who's available for rehoming. Beautiful, beautiful big booty. And somewhere out here on the prowl is Big Booty's uh, partner in crime, Stubbs, right? Like Marie Stubbs. Hey, Marie Stubbs. Marie Stubbs. Hey, Marie Stubbs. See how I did that? Uh, Stubbs, the the green, the greater slider, has three legs. Okay, we call Stubbs, and partner Booty. Now they didn't come here together. They didn't come here together, right? They both are rescues. Uh, one of them, Booty, was dumped at the at the doorstep, literally, of Tortoise Land. And is super friendly. Let's see, right? Take a look here, everybody. Wow. Okay. And the cool thing with the, these red air sliders. So, you know, before for 23 years, I never, uh, only once did I try having turtles here. And they both bit me. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm not too keen on the turtles, right? And there are a lot more to take care of since they got, you know, we got to put them in water and all that. But guess what? I, um, after the two turtles that came to us, uh, I don't know, six months ago, that are now placed down the street uh, with my wonderful neighbor, uh, Chassie, and her husband, Hector, they give us all the um, uh, uh, hibiscus flowers, okay? Like so many, they have a huge tree. And uh, so how cool is that? I went to them, I noticed they had a huge pond, really cool, modern, like, pond. What's going on over there, young lady? Okay, beautiful. That's beautiful Digger, huh? Looking to get out of here, okay? We're gonna take Digger to the park soon, right? Okay, so 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 we now have red ear sliders, right? This is a big booty. Big booty was dumped at the at the front of Tortoise Land, right? Dumped at the front of Tortoise Land. Um, Kevin, just a thought. How about doing a Tortoise Land calendar with pics of all the gang? That is absolutely phenomenal, and uh, it's funny you mentioned that because that was brought up recently by somebody, a friend, uh, and it's an amazing idea, right? We have so many tortoises, so many great pitches. I think that's a phenomenal idea. 
I'm going to ask. We have two graphics people too to help us. So I'm going to I'm going to jump on that, right? And guess what? Oh, so this is Booty everybody. Hey, okay, Big Booty dumped off literally dumped off at the front door of Tortoise Land about 2 months ago. Guess what? I fell in love, okay? Cuz you know what's cool about these guys? They don't bite these two, okay? And Stubbs who's running around. And here's the cool thing. At night, and say hi to Piper everybody. Hi Piper. Okay, so look, with the cool thing at night, because their little pond is not heated, and it's just a cool temporary pond that we use, uh, just like we use this for the babies. We rehome two babies, everybody. How about that? And the calendar idea, Maria, off the hook, okay? Because now we got we got T-shirts, we got hats, we got coming. The next thing is, uh, uh, what do you call them? I love wearing them. They're on your head. They're like a like a, you know, like a form-fitting thing. What do you call them? Beanie, beanies, we got beanies coming. How cool is that? And uh, beanies and hoodies, okay, for the winter, and uh, and tote bags. So right now we have tote bags, hats, and t-shirts, and if you get one, oh my God, the, all the money uh, goes to Tortoise Land. That would be great. Okay, so the cool thing with these guys, right, is at night I take them out. Watch this, hey? So I take them out. I put them in the heated pens, all right? And uh, watch this. So they just are the coolest things, right? Because watch this. It's super fast. Wait, let me see with the camera. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Right? Okay, so what's really cool, this guy, Booty, he gets out of his heated pen and he comes literally right up to his pool. Let me see if I can flip this around. All right, here you go, guys, okay? And girls, look at this. So Booty, right, goes, um, and we put him in the heated pens with the tortoises and they love it. And then in the morning, like just now, I see him coming down from the heated pens over there. Oh, speaking of which, there's Crush, everybody. We're gonna talk about Crush because Crush is up for rehoming. That's right. So we're going to talk about a couple tortoises in need of new homes and how cool on our website, tortoiseland.org, we're going to have a featured page that hopefully is going to be out today that is the page you go to to find out who's up for rehoming. Okay, so we're really gathering steam. You know, Marie, uh, you've been with me from day one. Where's Tracy Wells? Is he out there? I haven't talked to Tracy in a long time. Tracy, if you're there, I'll bring Punk out. Okay, so look at this, Marie, and everybody who's joining. So Marie knows, because Marie's been with us for a long time. This, Marie, believe it or not, beautiful box turtle, ornate box turtle. You know who this is? This is Baby Green. If you all look and do a search, right? Baby Green, Baby Green was tiny, one of the smallest, uh, certainly the smallest box turtle uh, uh, that was found in a backyard by a cool guy named Ken Green, about 85 years old, has had hundreds of turtles his whole life. I went and visited him. And last year, uh, he found this little teeny, he never had a baby born that he ever saw, found this little teeny baby so, so Baby Green was in with Baby Sheldon, our beloved, beloved desert tortoise baby who was such a trooper for a year and, and almost a half, and we lost him, okay? Sadly, but look at the size of Baby Green, everybody. Hey, box turtles are really cool. I'm a huge fan. I never had box turtles. Two Turtle Tom, if you're watching, he's an expert in hinged tortoises. Check out his websites. Um, check out his um, YouTube and TikTok and stuff and Instagram. He's become a really good friend and we support each other. I know, look how big, right? Right? Okay. So you know who else is getting doing really good? We're just I'm kind of just running all over the place, everybody. So I hope that's okay. Look at this. Oh, okay, someone else. That is our official dwarf African Sulcata. All right. Who is this, everybody? This is none other than Bean. Okay? Now here's the thing. You know who knew? Who knew that? Um, that tortoises, you know, could be like small, you know, like small people, right? Uh, like small people, uh, they also are super small tortoises. What do I mean by that? Well, Bean is the sister. I'm looking for Digger. Where'd Digger go? Okay. Bean is the sister of Digger. And Bean, and Digger is almost approaching 80 pounds, right? I'm looking for, I'm looking for right now. Let's see. everybody. So bear with me. We're going to talk about Pancake. Right here, okay? If you look, Marie, did you see the videos? I don't know if you saw it today. Um, put out yesterday part one of the, the pancake story, okay? And then this morning part two of the pancake story. Because yesterday, 
<laughs> okay? This is Bean saying, hey, Kev. Hey, Dad, why don't you put me down? So guess what? We're going to put you down right here. Okay? All right, you guys. Hey, so she showed me, huh? So this is beautiful Bean, okay? I'm looking to see. Let's, and this is a box turtle. This is box turtle blue. We have seven box turtles in tortoise land, okay? And very exciting. Um, I, I did, Kevin. She's looking much better. That's right. We're talking about, Marie's talking about pancake, everybody. Pancake is looking great. How's that eye on the other side? Whoop, you got to wait. <laughs> you got to wait. I'm going to show you in a few minutes, okay? And watch the videos because the first video we talk about her recovery which was really scary. And then yes, two, yesterday with uh, two days ago with Robert, we took her, we took her, uh, let me show you. We took her uh, gauze pad off. This is where she, you know, to keep her from rubbing that eye because she kept rubbing it, right? And ripping open. Shanty, oh my God. Hold on. It's Shanty Simon. Hi, Shanty. Shanty's a good friend, too, just like Marie. And I want you all to know that, you know, the, you, you guys that come on, guys and girls, you come on, you just hit me up at thetortoiseguykevin at gmail.com, and guess what? And I'll give you my cell phone if you want, and we can talk like I do with Shanty. And she shares information about her tortoises and sends me videos and uh, pictures, and I send her videos and pictures, and we just have a great conversation right hey marie says hi shanty simon right okay so i love that everybody so you know if you want to talk with me and you know you want to see specific things here at tortoise land you want to share knowledge and stuff how cool is that okay back to these guys so very exciting yesterday um we found uh box turtle white you know my roommate found box turtle white this is box turtle blue okay uh, this one is 36 years old, okay? So it turned out that blue and white are a mating pair. Look at these eyes. Oh, my gosh, right? Look at these eyes. And I got to tell you, too, the box turtles here have been become quite a sensation, everybody, okay? Uh, we have a video right now that was the featured video till this morning that over 20... Three or 4,000 people have watched. How about that? That's a, the most watched for us ever. And it's, there's just a huge fascination with box turtles. And I agree because they're the only ones that have this hinge, right? I'm trying to do this on my own. Watch this. You see that? See the give? On the plastron, the plastron has two hinges. So when the, when the box turtle gets scared, they can close up like a clam, right? They're not scared of me. And guess what? I learned from Ken Green, the box turtle expert. So if you check out the short video that has by far the most views ever, over 100,000 views, he taught us that if you get your box turtle too fat, they're not going to be able to close up. How about that? So don't get your box turtle too fat, right? Okay? Because if a predator comes, you know, they just can't close up. All righty? Uh, let's see here. So... Here's beautiful Bean. Bean tends to shed a lot, too. You see those legs? I have never had a tortoise that kind of does this shedding thing, okay? So Bean, from day one, even though Bean's five and a half years old, Bean is, was born on the short end of the stick, okay? Meaning Bean genetically, see the raised shell? Okay, she was just tiny from day one. She couldn't eat. Um, she missed her food every time she tried her hand, hand to eye coordination off big time. And uh, so, you know, I had to hand feed her forever. Oh, maybe a squirrel's gonna show up, everybody. Anyways, so Bean is a gift from the universe to us, precious girl, okay? And uh, special needs girl for sure. And so she's not up for adoption or rehoming. She's right here with us. Okay, and who is this too? Somebody that is healed so much, everybody. This is Torga, okay? Torga came like maybe a year and a half or more ago uh, from a great family, and they never got her in the sun. This is a big problem we have at Tortoise Land. We have a lot of tortoises coming in, like Pancake, that never been in the sun. They were they were in a, kept in a pen, you know? Um, okay. Hey, Marie, I like that idea, a tortoise land calendar. Shanti says that. Oh, I love that idea, a tortoise land calendar. We're going to jump on it, okay, today. We're going to jump on it. Um, we have a big uh, fundraiser coming, you, you all, on, May, on uh, December 3rd, two weeks from today. After we do the live streams, we're going to live stream it. Uh, maybe we'll do the live streams instead of 
the, our live stream in the morning. We'll figure it out. We're doing a big fundraiser here, open house for Tortoise Land. Okay, we're gonna have our volunteers here. The whole front two driveways is going to be all kinds of auctioned items. Really cool. You can do the auction too because it's all gonna be online. So stay tuned for all that info. Right? Okay. So this is Torga that never was out in the sun. A lot just like pancake. Okay. And uh, thanks, Shanti and Kevin could do key rings as well they could go when they uh do live events you guys you you're great you want to be the the, the managers and the uh how about the, the product line for tortoise land seriously how cool would that be you know how to reach out to me both of you the tortoise guy kevin at gmail.com shanty you already have my number and marie i'm happy to give you my number right and anybody out there that wants to talk so anyways so let's go see I'm hoping a little tortoise will show up. Let's see. All righty. So Nuts the Squirrel, he's a big boy now. And so most, most of the time, he doesn't sleep in his pen. Okay. Here's his beautiful heated pen. Right. His custom deluxe heated pen. Here's his blankies. Okay. And he likes to... He likes to go out in the wilderness, right? But a couple of nights, he likes to come and surprise her and, and be in his beautiful heated pen. So there's nothing more cool than to come in here and, uh, and, and see the little boy sleeping, right? So I go on and he's already, he wraps himself in here and then he comes out. Rocky, what are you looking at, pal? All righty. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Then we're going to go back to Pancake. All righty. Okay, so we got beautiful Digger here, okay? Now, Digger is amazing. So Digger, just like Shy Girl, is Max's son. Max was a 110-pound, beautiful, gentle giant of tortoise land. And guess who's taking over that role? Well, it's Digger has, okay? She's so big, so gentle, okay? And she weighing in now about, I don't know, about, you know, 65 pounds. Her dad was 110 pounds at age 22. She's only five and a half, so she's going to be big. Alrighty. She was the star of the Lamert Fourth Annual Jazz Festival. Okay. What is the Lamert Jazz Festival? Well, it's coming on our January 1st, 2024, our first episode, like real episode, drone shots music, beginning, middle, and end. Uh, a cool, cool event. 3,000 people uh, were there in attendance. We got to be with kids, we had our own tent. Then we just had our second public event a couple of weeks ago, a children's event at a whole different venue uh, for children to learn about animals so we are doing great things and reaching out that's a star <laughs> five-star squirrel hotel <laughs> right on right this so here the interesting thing this all started when nuts the squirrel if you've been following that's the squirrel that me and, and craig cray rocky and piper um saved the life of when it was super injured and tiny so i had this pen empty right so i was like well let's put that first squirrel in here what did I know about squirrels? Nothing. I knew nothing about squirrels, right? So I was going to bring him to the animal shelter, and then I'm like, I, I, I don't think, they're, I think they'll put him down, her down. So I was like, I don't want to do that. So I Googled how to care for one, and the rest is history, okay? And, and Nuts took off once she was old enough, and now I believe, I believe that Nikki is the son of Nuts because Nuts came, Nikki came when he was this big. In, the, in a dog's mouth rescued uh, by my, my tenant named Nick. That's how that happened. And I syringe fed him uh, milk and now he's a big boy, right? Okay, so look, look. My roommate found beautiful white, the box turtle, okay? So look, here's a good example of that. The, uh, the shell closed up, not all the way, but quite a bit. See that, right, Rocky? So box turtles also hibernate. They're hibernators, right? Like the desert tortoises, okay? Hold on, let's see it. Okay, like the desert tortoises, right? They hibernate, right? They find themselves a nice, a nice spot to dig in. Hold on, everybody. Okay, a nice spot to dig in, and uh, and uh, you know, look at those eyes. Okay, so 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 white here. Let's see, white is the male. Whoops, sorry. And white turns out is partners with blue. I'm gonna put them over here, right? And we're gonna talk about pancake. Okay, all right, everybody. Hold on. So let's see. And these guys love to eat mealworms, right, pal? So we're doing a lot of videos on the box turtles. It's super popular, everybody, okay? Those amazing eyes and stuff. So I'll put white down right there. Pancakes right here. I want to go put that turtle away, everybody. Let's see. What happened to Tracy Wells? 
Tracy Wells, you still out there these days? I haven't heard from you in a while. I hope you're well. I hope life is well. If you're out there and you want to say hi, please do, okay? Uh, all right, so look here. So this is this is Crush. We're going to talk about Crush because Crush needs a new home. All right, so here's our green. And Crush is kind of nasty, see? Crush is kind of nasty. Rocky. Rocky loves the turtles. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? Boom. Look at that. Rocky's fascinated with the turtles. Right, pal? Hi, honey. All right. Okay. So guess what, people? So something cool happened on Friday. Shy Girl had laid some eggs quite a while ago. And Robert and I decided we left them in the ground because, as you know, we had a lot of babies, right? We had a lot of babies. We rehomed two babies yesterday. We have rehomed 32 babies. How about that so far? We like to rehome them in pairs, right? Okay? Because nobody likes to be by themselves. And we find that they thrive a lot more if you have two babies. They crawl over each other. They keep us as company. Now, look at this. Here's our one of our incubators, right? Okay? I'm going to take a look here. Alrighty, so what happened here, look at this, people. Where did these eggs come from? Well, here's the little story here, okay? All right, so what I do, this is just a, this is just a, 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 a have a beta, hava, hava beta, if you're in Boston, actually, hava beta, um, basic incubator that has worked fine. 20 years old, we have three, okay? And we use them when Shy Girl laid all those eggs, huh? Right? I was thinking the same about Tracy, Kevin. Hope everything is okay. I know. I agree. Me too. Tracy, we hope you're well. All righty? We miss you. All right. So look. So in this incubator, on Friday, Robert came. Robert, who, who uh, Robert Eternity, uh, my staff uh, volunteers, they have tortoises. They love tortoises, right? Okay. So what happened is Shy Girl, okay, laid these eggs in the summer, okay? In the summer, people, Okay. So we're talking like maybe July, right? July. So we're talking August, September, October, November, 4, 8, 12, 16, at least 16, probably up to 20 weeks ago. Now, the thing is, in an incubator, eggs can incubate as quick as like 12 weeks, okay? But these, are, these were in the ground. We left them in the ground because we had no room in the incubators and because and she's, the hatch rate was so high, we just couldn't handle anymore, right? So we thought, let's leave them in the ground over where I just picked up white, all right? So I protected that so, you know, nobody could get at the eggs. And um, and this is what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven eggs. Now, there were more eggs, everybody, because I didn't know it, but other tortoises were getting in there, and they broke. So there were 29 eggs total, and they broke the rest of them. But there was no babies in there. So we have no idea if these are going to hatch. Don't know. Okay, they, you know, the odds are probably pretty slim because it's, you know, cold out there. But who knows, alrighty? I'm going to close this back up because the temperature is going down. Okay, the sex of baby tortoises and reptiles is purely determined by the ambient temperature. That's why we keep this, you keep the incubators about 85 degrees, okay? 85 degrees means there's a good chance you'll have boys or girls. Ron Evans, you're doing a fantastic job. Robert and Eternity are amazing. OMG, everybody, my great friends, Robert and Caroline, okay? And uh, wait, wait, Ron, Ron, <laughs> Ron and Caroline, okay? And we rehomed their awesome tortoise named Juan. If you haven't seen that video series, you got to see it. Juan, 100-pound, huge African cicada. They had forever. They loved to death. And we were able to rehome Eternity Me and... and, and uh, Eternity, me and Robert, to an awesome woman named Tony. We're going to bring Juan up here in two weeks for our big public open house silent auction fundraiser. It's going to be great. So we're bringing, we're bringing, we're bringing Juan up here. He's a kick. He's a, he was feisty. That's a good word for him. Feisty. Okay. All righty. So, so will these hatch? No idea, but guess what? Hold on. Let me close this up. Wait, everybody. Okay. Bam. Bam. All right. Will they hatch? No idea. But guess what? Jazz, the baby hatched, right? Super surprised, right? Super surprised. Jazz hatched after the jazz festival, right? So, you know, after sitting in the incubator, right? We did. So the story, we did that jazz festival. It was a kick butt awesome day. Right, Rocky? Yeah. Okay. And uh, look what's going on here. We got, who's here? Let's see. All the guys are coming out because the sun's coming out. There's Mario. Let me turn the camera around. Okay. There's beautiful Mario. 
Hi, Mario. Huh? And there's this is Sharky. Now, Sharky's up for rehoming along with Crush. They're on a pro. Oh, there's Punk. Tracy Wells. Watch this. Punk remains forever punk. Watch. Watch, 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 everybody. If you have any doubts about Punk changing, Leopard changing his spots, you can forget it, okay? Because Punk just, he's the Mediterranean menace and he loves to smack all the other tortoises. <laughs> Show us. Show us, Punk. Watch this. Okay, I let him stay out here because Tracy Wells, um, who is this now? It's Arlene. No way. Hi, Arlene. Arlene. Arlene, oh my God, you came on. Hi, right? I'm so happy you came on, right? This is Arlene, right, from yesterday? Is that right, Arlene? Make sure I got the right Arlene, because there's a couple Arlenes. Is this Arlene? Because I didn't know your last name, Arlene. Is this you that came and adopted two of our two of our beautiful uh, Shy Girls kids? Is it you? Let's see. Yes! Oh my God! Okay, how awesome is this, everybody? Okay, this is Arlene that's on now. Arlene adopted two of Shy Girls babies. Her, her and her husband and her wonderful son, Valentine. Valentine, right? Right now, okay. And uh, she adopted uh, because Robert... So if you're interested in adopting everybody, go to the tortoise guy. Very bad connection, it says. Very bad connection. Hold on. Hold on. Very bad. Can you guys see me okay and hear me okay? This says very bad connection. I don't know. Uh, can you see me all right? Hopefully. Here is, here's the babies, everybody. You know, okay? I'm going to bring them outside. Here is our setup, which we told Arlene and family about, okay? We use just inexpensive $15 beautiful storage containers. Uh, we don't use glass containers or aquarium stuff. We don't like them. We don't find them. We find them dangerous, actually, okay? Because these are low. They allow ventilation, okay? And they may not look as nice as a glass thing, but you know what? You know, the glass, all the tortoises want to do is get out, right? Anyways, that's our life experience here. Uh, can you see me okay? Let, let me get these guys out of here. One and two. Okay, hold on, everybody. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take this outside because it says very bad connection. Hold on. Right, Rocky? Hold on. Right here. Let's see. Ready? Hold on. And two. Okay, ready? Come on up. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, ready, guys? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Everybody, hold on. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see here. And let's see. All right. Hey, do we still have... Can you guys hear me? Do we still have a bad connection? Very bad connection. Can you guys hear me? Let's see, huh? Oh, punk. Let's see here. Oh, punk. All right, everybody. I'm trying to see who's who here. Uh, hi, Ronald, Arlene. Hi, Ducky. Hi, Ronald, Arlene, Ducky. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Can you tell me? Because my... Very clear. Thank you, Arlene, because my phone says very bad connection. Okay, so everybody, I'm super excited to see Arlene and family on board because I want to tell you what just happened. Okay, great, thank you. Look at so look at this, everybody. Look how big Shy Girls kids are. Okay, unbelievable, right? Look at and uh, Arlene yesterday came with her husband and son, and they. Uh, we rehome two of Shy Girls' kids, okay? Rehoming is an important part of what we do, okay? That's why we had these babies, you know? We decided to to uh, to see if, uh, if, if Shy Girl was fertile, to see, because she never had laid eggs before. And look at, okay? Hi, right, buddy, okay? So Arlene and son, oh, uh, it's okay here. Uh, I'm a, a fan over the pond. Yay, right? Hey, if you can see this good from over the pond in, London, in England, that's amazing, right? Okay, so there's a lot of sulcatas here. So here's the thing about rehoming babies. We want to show you the sulcatas. What we'd be sure to tell people, because someone had left a comment, because uh, we have a couple of videos out about rehoming. These two right here. Sharky. And look, Punk is never going to be rehomed. Punk is just classic, right? <laughs> here's the cool thing with Punk. Nobody cares, right? The big, the big you know, we let Punk do his thing. The, the, the slamming is a form of aggression, it's also a form of communication. It's a, it's used also for mating, right? You know, a, a male will often smack the heck out of a female in hopes that, um, you, oh, look at, hi, Piper, right? In hopes that, that the female will capitulate and just let him mate her. 
basically they just say oh my god just get just get over it just get get it over okay so here's the thing you need to know though okay this little guy that's now 11 months old is going to be this big in about five and a half years depending on how well you care for them Okay, you got to get them out in the sun. There's key things you got to do, people, okay? And we teach you how to do that, right? That was so cute. So check this out. I love punk, I know, right? Look at this, everybody, okay? So this is Shy Girl's kid. Now this, so, so, um, Digger is Shy Girl's sister, okay? Separated by three and a half years. Five and a half years old, and Shy Girl's about eight and a half years old. So I guess about three years separation, okay? Both born from the same dad, Max, okay? So you go, oh, my God, I want to get a couple babies from Kevin. And you reach out to the Tortoise Guy Kevin at Gmail or the Tortoise Guy Robert or the Tortoise Guy Eternity. And, and what we make sure you know is sulcatas are the third largest species in the world. Shanty knows that, okay? All you guys know that and girls, right? So, so your adorable baby in five and a half years is going to be this big. Okay? So we're going to teach you all that, right? We're going to teach you that. We're going to make sure you know that. We're going to set you up right, uh, right, uh, um, um, Arlene, right? We make sure you have everything you need to know. All right, look at this. Pretty cool. Say hello to Jazz, the miracle baby. Oh, hi, little Jazz. Jazz was born after the Jazz Festival in that incubator after being three months past hatching time, right? After being the incubator being left in the front yard because those eggs were never going to hatch, right? That's what I thought. I was like, I was like, there's no way these eggs are going to hatch. They're three months overdue. So I left the incubator out front, unplugged, in the hot sun, okay? I remember on the Thursday, so they've been out there Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm like, you know what? Let me go grab that incubator and, uh, and throw those eggs away. Whoa. I open it up. Lo and behold, right? Uh-huh. Yep. Some are very stubborn. That's right. That's right, right? And uh, so lo and behold, this one's born. So those eggs over there, those 11 eggs, could somebody hatch? Why not? Who can say? So there's beautiful jazz. Hold on, okay? There's beautiful jazz right there. Hi, little jazz, okay? And they're getting ready to eat. You know, we give them a bath every day, right? If you're interested in, in, in adopting, okay, then you just reach out to us, right? Okay? And look at Let me show you who else. There's, there's Timo, okay? Timo is kind of our little trouble kid. He's our special needs kid. We're always... Hi, pal. He's just waking up right here. Let's see, okay? Sorry that it keeps... Uh, all right, what are you doing? Right? Here's what I do. Here's what I do with our little boy here. I want to show you. Okay? Because Timo, you know, we've, we've had to have him at the vet a whole lot of times, which is why we always ask for your support. Patreon.com, PayPal, uh, Venmo, right? Okay. So this is what I do with this little boy. Or with anybody I want to wake up. Right? I get the water nice and warm. Not, not like too hot. But not, you know, but pretty darn warm, right? Tortoises are cold-blooded. Watch, we're going to get those eyes open. What are you doing, little boy? Oh, I see an eye open already. Okay, hold on. Okay, so he's our special needs kid, alrighty? And I keep my tortoises, we keep our tortoises really hydrated, right? And I find a nice warm, and you keep the head down so he doesn't get that in his mouth, right? Okay, so like, you know, I wake him up. This guy needs to be woken up a lot, right? Hi, pal. All right? So that's totally okay to do, people, okay? Hold on. Let's see. Did it work? Ready? Let's see. I keep looking out for a squirrel. All righty, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I see an open eye. What do you see? Oh, I see two open eyes. That's right. There's our little boy or girl, okay? So we got Jazz. Look at this. And they're growing, everybody. Look, even, even little Timo, right? How can you tell? Look at that shell growth. See the tips all around the shell? That's like pectin, like your fingernails. You see that? Because they grow from the center of the shell, right, to the outsides. So you look, look and see that. See that? Oh, my gosh, right? So even little Timo is doing really well. We give lots of calcium supplements, people. Hey, we got lots of videos. So you can, you can see, watch the how-tos and stuff. Punk is a delinquent. Uh-huh, that's for sure. So look, we do like repti calcium with and without three D D3 and uh, repto. What is it? Repti they don't know it yet, but they're gonna soon be a sponsor of Tortoise Land, as is Flukers, as is Toyota, as are a lot of people. In fact, we put our first sponsorship kit out to Osborne Industries 
slash Stanfield because they make the heat pads and I've been using them for 20 years, okay? And they're amazing heat pads. And so we reached out to them. I have a good contact there um, and sent a package for say, hey, would you sponsor us, you know? Because we do good work as a nonprofit. So fingers crossed. Look at this, look at this, okay? Look at this, look at this. King of the hill, dude. King of the hill. This is our biggest uh, uh, baby, not the baby anymore. This is, uh, this is gargantuan. How about that? You know, not to be confused with baby gargantuan, our Greek baby we had a few years ago, okay? How about we'll call him gargantuan? Unless you guys got a good name for them. How about that? Oh, you want to have a naming contest? Here's our biggest baby, born uh, December, no, January 2nd, 2023. The first of all the eggs to hatch. And look at him now, or her now. We think it might be a girl. See the V-shape there? A little tail could indicate a girl, but it's too early to tell. Then you got Spunky. All right, let's go back over to Pancake. All righty. Then we got to wrap it up soon, okay? All right, so let's go see what is Pancake's progress. Okay, also we have two of our desert tortoises ready to go into hibernation. Sunshine and D, Delilah, okay? So we had a thorough talk with Dr. Schachterly, which is important before your tortoises go into hibernation. Not just a talk, but we brought them in to make sure they were in good health. Uh, she gave them, pumped them up with fluids, uh, with calcium, uh, minerals, vitamins, everything, right? Because it's really important that if your tortoise is gonna go into hibernation, you gotta make sure they're healthy. It could be deadly for a tortoise to go into hibernation, not be healthy, okay? Uh, and because they may not come out. Okay, so pancake everybody. So we got two videos out. So you wanna get the full story, please go click on the videos. Also, pretty cool, check the video. That's the customized video right now about the albino. That happened in 2019. Most people don't know about it. 2019, we just started the channel. No, virtually nobody was watching, right? So we had our first, uh, so far, and only albino. One in 100,000 odds, okay? So there's a whole story there. Please check that out, okay? Please tell your friends. Please go to tortoiseland.org. Order yourself and your family a t-shirt for Christmas, a hat with, with or without the cool logo, right? Okay, please go to our website, tortoiseland.org. Uh, we're going to feature two of what tortoises are available for adoption. So that feature's coming in the next day or two. So we're getting there, people, okay? Alrighty, so here we go. Let's see, let's see Pancake. Right here's Pancake, okay? And remember, we have like 85 tortoises here. So here we're gonna go. Let me, let me put this phone. Hold on, everybody, okay? I'm gonna put the phone right here so I can bring Pancake over here for you to see. So excuse my camera work. There's the babies, okay? Excuse this while I do this. Hold on one sec. Hold on one sec, everybody, okay? Right here. Let's see. Let's see, everybody. I don't know what you can see here, but we're gonna put her down. Pancake is a girl, okay? Definitely, definitely in love with, definitely in love with Pancake, everybody, right? Why is Pancake called Pancake? Pancake's original name was Lucy. Lucy came from a beautiful family that loved her to death, right, okay? Beautiful family loved her to death, and uh, but for the first five years, they just didn't know, and they, and they kept uh, kept um, Lucy in the house. She was never outdoors for the first five years, okay? So she didn't get the sun, okay? And maybe she didn't get the best nutrition either, but not getting that sun, look at the difference there. Here's one of our biggest kids that's 11 months old. Now look at the difference. Look at that, look at the dome, right? Right here, see the dome? See how flat, right? Okay, and concave right there, okay? Now, they realized after five years, like, okay, they gotta get her outside. And they built, they got her outside, they built her a house and stuff, and thank God they did, because that hardened her shell. So if you have a tortoise with a super soft shell, okay? If you have a tortoise and the shell is soft, or underneath the plastron is soft, that's a problem, okay? Usually means not enough sunlight, not enough calcium. So you gotta watch for that, okay? The bottom should be firm and on all parts of the shell. We have a tortoise named Squish, okay? And Squish came recently, the, the saddest case of soft shell and never been in the sun I've ever seen, okay? So get your tortoises in the sun. If, if you learn anything today, 
It's please get your tortoises in the sun. How's that, okay? That's why we use these containers. That's why we don't put them in glass tanks and stuff, okay? Well, for ventilation purposes. But if you have your tortoises in a container like this, here's the thing, people. We have right now, there's 40 babies here, okay? But if you have just a couple babies, say you come here and we rehome and, and you get two of our babies because you come here, uh, then this is the size pen you want to have them in. Plus, they need to climb, people. They need to climb. So you want to have cool things for them to climb like that, okay? They don't just want to be flat, okay? Nobody does, right? Look, you got to do this. We do cool little mountains. They got to have places to hide. A key, you got to have places for them to hide, to get out of the sun, to get out of the UVs, right? Whatever it is. Give them challenges in life, okay? Switch up where you feed their food. We use organic soil right here that we get from Kellogg, okay? They're going to be a sponsor too soon already okay and let's go to pancake now ready oh babe here we are so like you said if you've been following the whole pancake situation um we thank you first of all and we have a fundraiser going on there's a fundraiser right now on um instagram if you go there to see watch the pancake videos or any of our videos right now you're going to see a fundraiser uh we're trying to raise 500 dollars, okay to get to pay help pay for all the medical help for her so if you go there and, and click that, that would be super helpful. It's tax deductible, people, okay? Tax deductible, every dollar counts. So look at, let's take a little ride. So after going to the vet a million times, after being on antibiotics for virtually like a month, I wanna show you the, the amazing progress. First of all, how about this? Her eye is open, people. You see that her in the sun. Her eye is completely open. The scab that we couldn't get to heal is almost healed see that almost healed okay so to the point where robert and i uh took off uh the protective um protective gauze pad here okay and now i keep her outside okay she i couldn't have her in outside because uh dr shackley we were really concerned the flies because when it's hot there's a lot of flies here the flies were going to lay their eggs on the wound okay and that would be disastrous when those babies hatch and, and right basically eat we would eat her uh, from the outside in so that didn't happen uh, dr shagley said we did an amazing job so what we do is i use saline solution right let me show you i use saline solution right here just over the counter per dr shackley right okay first i soak her in warm water i soak that eye so if this ever happens to you reach out to us the tortoise guy kevin gmail .com. so look i would wash her in the in the sink with warm water that i the wound i kept the wound super clean all the time okay and uh and then she's on two forms of antibiotics so how can you help her how can you help us you can go to patreon.com backslash the tortoise guy patreon.com backslash the tortoise guy okay that's a fun way to join and help us too you become a member of the tortoise guy club Tortoise Guy Club, you become a member, it's tax deductible, and for as little as one buck, you get videos we drop on Tuesdays uh, that 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 only you guys get to see first. We, we make fun videos, special videos, uh, to thank you all for your help. Shanti is, 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 is supports us, as do so many of you, and Marie has, and, and I thank you all, okay? All right, so guess what, everybody, okay? The time has come. Okay, I wanna show you something. Wait, 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 hold on. Before we go, okay, before we go, I want to show you this. So you're going to be seeing next week, next week, hold on, next week, next sun, Sunday, I'm going to feature, show you some of the cool, cool items we have up for auction. We have artwork, original cool stuff like this Tim Burton chandelier. We have uh, artwork by, by local artists, photography. This is the coolest thing. This is a editing table and i know you can't really see it this is made of editing an editing an old school 35 millimeter editing bench with a glass top one of a kind came from a friend of mine that works in movies and tv it was a a, a prop made for a show okay this is cool cool artwork by tim bradley who did the tour the logo he does children's books he signed a couple of his children's books that is his original artwork of a the, the largest tortoise 10 million years ago, okay? This is uh, uh, called uh, Sun Catchers, made by a local artist. This is a chair by Amy Aquino, 
actress uh, as a friend and she 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 this is her chair signed okay she's a pretty famous actress on tv shows for bosch uh called bosch and lots of other shows okay Alrighty, so here we go everybody this is coming uh, so, uh what december two weeks from today december 3rd don't go by that okay december 3rd you're going to be able to click on uh, on it we're going to direct you uh, and see all the items yourself so even if you live in england Marie or Florida Shanty or wherever you can bid on the items. Okay, we're also gonna have T-shirts, hats, everything to bid on. All the music from Billy Joseph, who does the music, his CDs, hats, T-shirts. Okay, lots of cool stuff. Again, go to toursland.org, find out what's new, order your stuff. Okay, and help us out. Right? Okay. So we're super thrilled for Pancake. Hey, check out the cool video about the albino that was born in 2019. And if you like what you see, please share it with other people. Share our videos, okay? We really could use your help and support. Okay, so on behalf of all the babies of Tortoise Land, and all the tortoises of Tortoise Land, and Sweet Piper over there, okay? And, uh, and me, I want to say thanks for watching. And we'll be back next Sunday. We have exciting news, too. Uh, bye, hugs, Kevin, right? Uh, uh, we have, hopefully next Sunday, we might be going up to where Lumpy we have a whole story about Lumpy. Something happened up there that was frightening, blow you away. And what's going to blow you away is what's happened since then. Lumpy's the most resilient tortoise I have ever had. And it's quite an amazing story. Okay. So we're hoping to get up there next Sunday for do the live stream from that mountaintop where, 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 where Lumpy is. Okay. All right, everybody. I so super appreciate you all. So on behalf of Pancake and everybody, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next week. Alrighty? That's right. Say that, honey. You're doing so good. Okay, everybody. Bye-bye.